Hey everyone, CT and Technology News here, and today I am taking a look at Samsung's brand new flagship tablet, the Galaxy Tab S, which comes in two sizes, 8.4 inches and 10.5 inches. Now, Samsung is positioning the Tab S as a high-end tablet with an emphasis on entertainment and consumption. It boasts a high-res Super AMOLED display with 2560 by 1600 resolution that rivals even the iPad's Retina display. Apparently, this gives it better color and deeper contrast while consuming less power than the LCD displays in most competitors. Now, to optimize the viewing experience, Samsung equips the Galaxy Tab S with an adaptive display, which will change the white balance of the tablet based on the ambient light. The screen also has less reflectivity and bright sunlight, which should make for a better viewing experience overall. Now, the Galaxy Tab S also borrows an important feature from the Galaxy S5 smartphone, a fingerprint scanner. Up to 8 people can use fingerprints to log into different profiles on the device. The Tab S also is an upgraded version of the magazine mode that's common on Samsung tablets. The new magazine mode has a new widget for a personal timeline, putting your calendar alerts and notifications in one place. Samsung's also emphasizing magazine content on the Galaxy Tab S with its own magazine platform called Paper Garden. The company announced partnerships with Marvel and National Geographic, who both said they would bring titles to Paper Garden, complete with interactive features. Now, both Tab S tablets are just 6.6 millimeters thin, which is actually thinner than the iPad Air. The weight is 465 grams for the large size and 294 grams for the smaller design. The Tab S also includes Side Sync, which lets the tablet pair with a Galaxy S5. Once paired, the tablet can mirror the smartphone's screen in a smaller window, letting users take calls on the tablet via its speakers and microphone. Side Sync can also be used to transfer files or even run apps from one device to another. Now, the tablet also features Multi Window, a feature borrowed from Samsung's Galaxy Note products and allows the running of two apps on the screen at the same time. Now, in the US, the Galaxy Tab S will cost $499 for the 10.5 inch version and $399 for the 8.4 inch one. The Tab S is also a departure from previously leaked Galaxy Tab tablets, which have been Samsung's value brand in tablets with plastic designs and cheap prices. The company's Galaxy Note line sell at a premium, but emphasize use of an accompanying digital pen, which the new tabs lack. With that said though, the new Galaxy Tab S tablets are definitely premium, and you won't want them if you're looking for a really budget tablet. If you're looking for more of an iPad Air style tablet though, these are all for you. Let me know what you think of the Galaxy Tab S in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!